Hey folks, it's elk season, and we're getting a lot of questions about what's in our elk hunting kill kit. Last year, we talked about just a general kill kit. Well, this year, I'm gonna get more precise. I'm gonna talk about elk. Elk hunting, public land elk hunting, mostly backcountry public land elk hunting. So, the basics of what I need when I'm in the backcountry and I get an elk on the ground is really sparse. One of the reasons we do a lot of these kill kit or processing and why we show all the processing in our videos is because when I started elk hunting, I did not know how to do the gutless method. I didn't know how to quarter an elk out. And I was always thinking, well, I gotta hunt near the truck because if I shoot one, it could spoil. And man, that would just be terrible. So I always hunted not too far from the truck and usually uphill thinking, well, if I could get him cut in half, maybe I could drag half of it. Well, over time I realized how futile that was and how it was impacting my elk hunting. And so I started learning the information necessary to take care of an elk out in the field. The more confident you have in that knowledge and the few simple tools to do it, the more comfortable you are going way back there where there's greater likelihood you're going to find it. And right here is the basics of what you need. I'm going to go through them piece by piece. I don't need a saw, I don't need a hatchet, I don't need all those kind of things. What I need is the tools, and I'm going to walk through these real quickly, the two Gerber items. I always have my latex, rubber, whatever gloves, a little bit of rope, and quality game bags. I don't mean the imitation type, I mean the real original. These are from Caribou Game Bags. So this here, you'll see, this is a, they call the Wapiti series. It's like the ultralight series. And when I'm doing backcountry hunts where uh, it, it's an issue about weight, this is everything you need. The package includes the absolute basics. And I'm gonna read what it has here. It's got five game bags. Four of them are 23 inch by 40 inch. And one is 16 inch by 30 inch. So the four are for the quarters, and then the other one is for the trim, back straps, standard loins, all that stuff. So everything you would need would be right in here. They include a pair of, of latex slash rubber nitrile gloves in there. And if you're in a spot, say you got llamas like we do a lot of times, or horses, they have their magnum pack, which I've lost the label on this, but it has a few more bags in it. Than, than the Wapiti, um, and it's everything you need is contained right here. So because we do the gutless method on just about every elk that we take, all you need are quality game bags, and these ones from Caribou Game Bags, and I've been using these since they started. Uh, Ted and Sharon down in, in Colorado, great people, they hunt, they support what we do, and now there's tons and tons of imitators, but these are the originals. They, these are one of the first uh, synthetic game bags to come out. And then when it comes to knives, well, before I get into knives, let me tell you the few other little things I have in here. Um, this is just a little baggie. Uh, right, lots of these. And for me, I have Benadryl because I'm allergic to deer and elk fur. <laughs> I know you're probably saying, what? So, in addition to that, I'm gonna have another little pouch that has my license, I'm gonna have a pen, everything I would need to legally take care of that animal. And by legally, I mean punch it. Some of them you gotta sign your tag, so have a pen in there. And then I keep my knives in this little mystery ranch, I think they're called Zoid bags. And my two knife options really depend on where I'm hunting and what I'm going to be doing. So if I'm doing a big backcountry hunt, I'm going to take these new Gerber products. These are the Randy Newberg series. This is called the, we call it the EBS, the Exchange Blade System. Comes with that stem. And we've done videos on all the features of these. But the beauty of this one is it comes with three separate blades, each having a specific purpose. The serrated blade being the one that does all your dirty work. So everything else will stay nice and sharp because you haven't dulled it up on bone and dirt and hide and skulls and tendons and 
all the rest of the stuff. And it connects to that and right there. So last week I'm in Idaho. I'm doing a backpack hunt. Yeah, I had llamas, but I know I'm going on these big eight, 10 mile hikes away from base camp. So then I was using the EBS system. Now, if I'm doing day hunts and weight isn't quite a concern, or maybe you just have the preference that you like a traditional folding blade knife, then I go with the DTS, the dual tool system, which has your traditional folding cutting blade. But then this is really the trick to this whole thing right here is the tendon tool. Another thing you might want to have is a little bit of parachute cord, especially if you're on your own. Because sometimes you're on a side hill, sometimes you want to hold that front shoulder up while you're getting it off the quarter, or you want to hold that hind quarter away. Can't go wrong with a little bit of P-cord. So some of you might ask me why I use these latex, rubber, whatever you want to use, nitrile gloves. Well, if you've ever had an infection from blood-borne blood -borne, uh, <laughs> organisms as the result of skinning an animal, you will know why. I've had my share of them back before I thought it was smart. I used to think, oh, only sissies would do this. Uh, one, it's a good mechanism to keep from getting any sort of infections. It'll clean up way easier and it'll keep your hands a lot warmer. So, don't forget these, they're really cheap. A little bit of organization to put everything in. Really good backpack like this mystery ranch that you can haul your quarters out in. And this is a, a basic kill kit for elk. If you want to know where you can get this stuff, you can get your caribou game bags, go to their website, link down below. And when you check out, use promo code Randy and they'll give you 10% off and free shipping. And then if you want one of these Gerber knives, whether it's the EBS or the DTS, go there and go to gerbergear.com, link down here. Use promo code Randy, they'll give you 20% off these. When it comes to elk hunting, don't overcomplicate it. If you want the knowledge of how to do the gutless method, how to do the lower hocks, how to remove the, the skull from the spine at, at this atlas joint, if you want to know how to debone it, we have those videos out on our website, randynewberg.com. If you go to the bottom, we'll, we'll put that link there. You can download those videos. Say you're the first time elk hunter, or not first time elk hunter, but this is the first time you've had to do it by yourself. Maybe having those videos on your phone is gonna help you out a little bit. The most important part of your kill kit might be here. The knowledge and the skills of how to break down that elk and take care of that elk when it's on the ground, when it's dark. When it's 70 degrees and you're worried that the meat might spoil if you don't get it taken care of. If all else fails and you don't know where to get this stuff, you can always go to gohan.com and at their shop use promo code Randy, they'll give you 10% off just about everything. So there you have it folks. No matter where you're hunting, deep in the backcountry, whether you have access to llamas or horses or goats or whatever, it doesn't take a lot to have a really effective kill kit for elk. And I mean elk are big critters and this is how simple it is get yourself quality tools that are built for elk for processing elk and that's what this Gerber stuff is the Randy Newberg series get yourself some quality game bags and a few other basic essentials and you're ready to go now you've got the hard part you got to go find the elk and hang your tag on it but when you do this is how simple it is to break it down and get it back to your freezer and enjoy all those great meals. Thanks for watching. Good luck out there.